Location is key. If you're watching this video, then you are probably looking at pre-construction condos in Miami, most importantly on Miami Beach, and you're trying to figure out the locations and where these best buildings are. This is a video perfectly poised to educate you on exactly that. So why am I standing with a boardwalk behind me on a very sunny day and not sitting in my office? Well, quite simply, this is a very, very key location when you consider the lifestyle of Miami Beach. The boardwalk behind us, and obviously when you're watching the video and you're seeing us cycling down the boardwalk, is a large part of moving around Miami and Miami Beach area. We've discussed what is the best beachfront building on Miami Beach, and quite simply, the best beachfront building in our mind right now for those who want a complete lifestyle, slightly away from the tourists, Paragon. As you can see, the visuals and the importance of that building should be clearly understood, and that's what we're gonna help you do. Understand the proximity of Paragon to all the shops and restaurants, the lifestyle, and what's really key and most important about locations. So when you go online and you look at the best condos, everyone talks about walkability. But I think that's actually missing a point, a very key point, which is bikeability. I'm an avid bike rider, and I have enjoyed seeing Miami from the saddle for many, many years. I think it's actually the best way to engage with the environment. And now with the advent of the electric bike, what I've noticed selling real estate for over 15 years, every time I go into a luxury beachfront condo, I notice that so many of these residents own electric bikes. Why? Because they're great fun. They're so easy to get around on. They're not exhausting. You won't tire yourself out, but you can get anywhere. And it's important to understand as I've got cyclists, there you go, one right behind me, perfect timing. These electric bikes allow you to get to any part of Miami Beach in just as little time as it would take you to drive and sometimes even less. So Steph, uh, given the fact that you've been a Miami Beach resident for, I don't know, 15 years, 20 years, tell me how the luxury condo market has developed since 2005. So David, that's a good question. Uh, there has been a migration when it comes to the luxury product on the beach. And they used to be only south of Fifth with Continuum, 2008 was completed, and Apogee. And then we had Setai and W moving up north on the beach, and that's still in the scene when everything, where everything is happening. And then we moved up further to the Edition and Fahena House. The next step was even far, further north with 87 Park and Surfside with the Surf Club Four Seasons. But now there is a new stage, and this round is actually moving back to the Mid Beach area that offers this amazing bikeability with the boardwalk, and that's where the Paragon is located, just right where we stand. Clearly, tastes change over the year, and we've really seen some taste changes for the Miami Beach condo market and the Miami Beach condo buyer since 2005. In fact, we've seen several transitions. Talk to me about what is it that we're seeing buyers really want right now? What is a priority for them? Yes, David, this migration actually does reflect the change of taste in the Miami Beach luxury market. The development of the urban core does have something to do with that because the accessibility to the urban core and retail and um, design district with the beautiful shopping there makes it easier for a resident of this area, of the mid-beach area, to actually cross the bay and be there in 10 minutes. There's a different options available to the buyer where you can be the buyer that wants to be in the action and that's a product for you right there, more south, and you can be a buyer that does want that accessibility, but also wants a more quiet beach. And that's what you get in this part of the beach, mid beach and surfside. So how has infrastructure and technology changed the reality of living on the beach? So there's no doubt that Miami has grown. We have way more traffic and it's less easy to get out on the streets. So what it does make a big difference here is the development of this boardwalk. This was completed just a few years ago, and, and the boardwalk actually allows you to bike, walk, or ride all the way from Bal Harbor to south of Fifth. And with the change in technology, what we're seeing now is not just bikes, rollerblades, or what we used to see before, but electric bikes, electric scooters are great means of transportation on this boardwalk and I can assure you it's a very pleasant way, much more pleasant than just walking on Collins Avenue.